Hello, best friend, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a fabulous day. If this is the first time you're watching my channel, my name is Sebastian, and I welcome you guys with open arms. I do pop culture videos every single day, so if you're looking for a new messy best friend, you have found me, girl. Grab a snack, grab a drink, hit that subscribe button. I would be very grateful. You guys, we have to talk. We have to talk because... Zayn, Zayn, Zayn Malik is doing his first huge interview in six years with Call Her Daddy or Call Me Daddy, Call Someone's Daddy, you know, Call Her Daddy podcast, okay? And Zayn, welcome to Call Her Daddy. Thank you for having me. When is the last time you did something like this? It's like six years ago. This is supposed to be his first like very big tell all interview there's a little preview of it um i can't really put it on because you know copyright and stuff and so you know you you can go find it. i'm gonna link it in the description hopefully bitch just please remember and you know it is being said that it's going to be a tell all interview now if you know this podcast you know that alex i believe that's her name she asks the questions you know she does not hold back she asks the questions that people are curious about um, he does say in the interview that he hopes that after this interview, people will know him a lot better. So, of course, everyone has started, you know, assuming things and, and, and the conspiracies have come out and people are fully believing and, uh, waiting for him to spill all the tea on Selena Gomez. Now listen, let me tell you something about about uh, this situation. Zayn, from what I see, has been a very private person. He says that he's very chill. He says that ever since his daughter, you know, was born, that's like, you know, she brought coloring to his life and he's very, you know, like, he's just a very chill guy. He doesn't do a lot of interviews, but he wants his daughter to like be proud of and of him and to like know him a little bit more. So what I believe it's gonna happen is that, you know, they're gonna need some kind of like, clickbait you know alex and the call her daddy podcast is really good at attracting people it's one of the biggest podcasts around i, I believe spotify listen to this spotify call her daddy um i believe okay first of all her her net worth is about 98 million dollars by the way um her podcast uh Spotify Spotify paid her 60 million dollars for her call her daddy deal. So just see, I mean this podcast if you've never seen it it's huge. This is where Hailey Bieber did that interview as well and talked about uh Selena and how there's a lot of things people don't know about them and that they're, you know, they've been talking behind the scenes and all these things. So, I mean she has, you know, pretty good guests and she makes people feel so comfortable that they do open up. So, do I think he's gonna talk about it? Probably not, but I do think that she's going to ask because again, they're gonna need some kind of clickbait thing to like really bring him in. And besides the Selena Gomez thing, I mean, all he's he could talk about is Gigi Hadid, but it's I don't think that people are going to be, you know, going out of their way to watch this interview if if they you know if he's just talking about Gigi Hadid. So. What I think is gonna happen is that he, she's gonna probably ask him about it and then he's just gonna like kind of divert the question or you know what, maybe he'll say what, what needs to be said. And a lot of people are speculating that Selena Gomez allegedly found out about this interview and that's why she unfollowed him. Now that is something that I could probably, you know, I could probably uh, get on board with because I feel like, you know, we talked about how Selena has been betrayed by friends, how, you know, it's so difficult to, 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 to have friends when you're, you know, a huge superstar. And when you find out, you know, that certain friends that you thought you could trust maybe betray you, you know, it definitely gets harder and harder and harder to kind of believe in anyone. And, you know, if her and Zane had anything going on, and now he's gonna spill the beans about it. I mean, it makes sense why she would, you know, unfollow him. I've never heard him speak before. I've never really seen an interview with him before. But I mean, he does have this like sexy air around him, but also he talks about having very high anxiety and how he doesn't do interviews because of the anxiety and stuff. 
And I'm actually really happy that him and Selena, you know, hopefully are allegedly not together. And I'll tell you why. I think that Selena Gomez, she needs someone by her side who maybe has gone through that era in their life already. I think we all have anxiety. We all have, you know, depression. We all have things that, you know, are very difficult to go by. But I think in our perfect partner, we could probably be best off with someone who doesn't have that high anxiety like like we do, you know? So we can balance each other out. Because I mean, imagine if you have very high anxiety and depression and then you get with someone who has very high anxiety and depression as well, your guys are gonna live in high anxiety, depression world. You know what I mean? And I I don't think that that is the right partner for, for Selena. I think she needs somebody who has maybe overcome a lot in his life, but is, you know, getting to a next level of their life, you know? It, I don't know if that makes sense, but I think it does, in my head at least. So Zayn tell, I mean, I don't know what he's gonna tell all about. I mean, the One Direction thing, like, you know, could he spill, I mean, this, cause this is an hour long, like what is he gonna talk about in an hour? Like Gigi Hadid, his, his daughter, One Direction, his solo album, what else girl you know what else um you know let me tell you guys something i've always thought and i always get this question you know change the subject for a second about a podcast i've always been told like oh my god you should do a podcast you should do a podcast but i'm you know i sit here and i wonder i'm like girl i already do about five to six videos a day i feel like if i do one more thing you guys are gonna be like so fucking tired of my voice and of just seeing me but if i did have a podcast i think i would i would have this like i, I kind of already know that the theme of it and i'll share it with you guys just so you know but like i've always thought about you know you know how podcasts are always so like aesthetically beautiful and stuff i mean i recently just did my first podcast by the way um with a very special friend and we had a great time um, but if I had a podcast, you know how I would decorate it, you guys, as like a slumber party. That's how I would, and, and the rule would be that everyone has to come in their pajamas. You know how cool would that be, right? And like, we, we would be sitting like in a king size bed, like enough room for us to have like, you know, a good space between us, like a bunch of beautiful pillows. And so we, you know, you can, you can always have a pillow and like put it, you know, in your tummy you know, like this, like very cozy vibes. And we could have like cocktails or like snacks. Like that's sort of the vibe of the podcast that I would have. And I'm saying this now, just in case somebody wants to, you know, do that. And then they're like, Sebastian, you copied it. You actually did it. No, bitch. I said it here today. I feel like, yeah, I feel like that's like kind of a lot later on. Like when you have direct connections with celebrities, then you can have like celebrities. About everything, girl, should I do a podcast? What should it be like? Sleepover with Sebastian Soto. Does that sound pervy to you? I think it sounds kind of pervy. Sleepover with Sebastian. I don't know how that would look if I like made people come in their pajamas. Is that weird? Let me know in the comments. Anyways, I love you all so much. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.